everyone. My name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to assign input and output information to your PLCs inside SolidWorks Electrical. There are two ways of inserting in IO information and, and assigning IO information to PLCs. One way is the manual method where you would just double click on the PLC and manually create your descriptions. However, as SolidWorks Electrical is not a PLC programming software, what the PLC programmer can do is exporting the I.O. list and um, into an Excel format, for instance. So that's what I've done over here, and I will show you how to import that information into SolidWorks Electrical. So what we can do is when we are here, um, I've already placed a couple of PLCs or one PLC on my drawing over here. I will simply go to the input and output screen but before i do that let me just move this to the left hand side and open up my excel file and move that to the right hand side so you can see over here the information that has been exported by my plc programming software i'm going to import this information directly into solidworks electrical a couple of advantages of doing it this way is that we don't have any typos and all the information is going to be um, exactly the same. So we click on input and outputs. And then if I drop down my function one, you can see all the inputs and outputs that I've assigned to my PLC. So I'm going to shift select all of them. And we are going to go to the data grid option. I will place it also on the left hand side of my screen and from here we can just simply shift or left um, select the uh, mnemonics and the description which are mouse and we can just simply copy and paste that over so let's have a look over here we've got our inputs i copy that and i just paste that over here so this is just normal Control c Control v to paste. We can do the same with description. And this will save you a lot of typing. And as you can see, everything just comes in nicely. Now some you can see that um, the company standard here is to also have a symbol name add it to the description or to the PLC data. So we can use user data one for that. And we can do the same with the type that can become user data two. The good thing is in SolidWorks Electrical, we have the ability to customize user data one, two. Um, we've got up to 20 user data fields that we can customize. This information can then be included in our reports that we can export directly from um, SolidWorks Electrical. Now, once that's done, you simply click OK. We can close this off. And if I make that a bit bigger, you can see that the information has automatically um, come in and added to my um, schematic. Similarly, also the mnemonics over here, the inputs that I've used. Um, are also automatically added to the PLC. If I right click on here, I would go to Added PLC. This is another way of showing the information. Here we can see all the PLCs that have been included in my project. We can also see that we still have some available inputs. Um, but also over here, the information has been copied over and assigned to the actual PLC. We can save this all inside a macro as well. So if your inputs and outputs are always going to be the same, we can save that as a macro and it will save you from actually copying and pasting over the information all the time. That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching, guys.